What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, here in my home office today as we bring you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down a game of offensive lineman Clayton Truitt out of Charleston Southern. First, let's get to know Clayton Truitt out of Charleston Southern at 6'5", 295, a guy I compared to John Urschel of the Baltimore Ravens. And you look at a guy that started over 30 games in his collegiate career at left guard, right guard, as well as center, which is why I believe he has a lot of versatility and talent to play anywhere along the inside as a pro. I'm a fan of how Truett attacks in the running game. He's extremely quick off the ball. You'll see that he's a contact first guy, which means he's always going to be in a position of control. And Charleston Southern is a run heavy offense. And with the ability that Truett showed and is currently showing down blocking, you can see why they were one of the best rushing teams in the country. He explodes off the ball and is able to lock in on the breastplate and outside shoulder of the defender and drive him out of the way, clearing a lane for the running back. Next, let's look at the hand placement of Truett. Obviously, as an offensive lineman, you're blocking a moving target, so the ability to reset your hands is very important. Here's two examples of Truett doing so in both pass protection and also in a running game. Being able to reset your hands once again puts you in a position of control and gives you the ability to sustain and also finish blocks. Pass Pro is an integral part to playing in the trenches, and I believe Clayton Truett does a solid job in this area. Despite not having the best pad level, Truett has to make sure he excels elsewhere in order to get the job done. He accomplishes this with striking first, having a great initial punch, and keeping his feet moving and showing the ability to lock and drive. This is a great understanding of knowing your strengths and playing to that. It has helped him excel as a collegiate. I'm a big fan of Truett's read and recognition ability on both ends of offense. And you'll see him come off blocks in both the passing game and the running game with ease and be highly effective. This bodes well for him moving forward because at the NFL level, it's a thinking man's game and you'll see a lot and will be asked to do a lot as far as that is concerned. It's good to see him on film that he's already comfortable doing so and is very football aware. You can tell he was well coached at Charleston Southern. Can he move is a question you'll hear a lot from coaches at any level, but more in particular at the pro level. And Clayton Truett does a very good job climbing to the second level. This was on display this year versus Charlotte. Truett isn't awkward in space nor on the move and was consistently able to identify and attack. This is a guy that was directly responsible for a lot of the big gains that the Bucks had that day on the ground versus the 49ers. So in conclusion, I came away impressed with Truett's game. He has a lot of translatable traits, the main one being his overall talent. There's a few technical issues that he'll have to clean up, but the football talent is definitely there, and that's something that you can't coach. You either have it or you don't. 